Hey, welcome to Arm Animation. It's time for another video. It's going to be about VFX. I'm going to remake portion of this VFX I have done uh, previously, two years ago. It was working well and it still works well. But I'm going to change the tornado portion, the portion where we see the spinning sequence. I'm going to use an image there and totally different technique which I have used on this wheel. You can see it on the screen. And yeah, I was busy a lot with physics recently. I have done a lot of uh, streams. You can see it on my channel. And the great news is that the physics is already available in 4.2 beta version. Go ahead, experiment it. I'm really looking forward to any of your experiments. Post it on YouTube and tag 4.2 spine i'm gonna search it and post on my channel any nice experiments okay so let's get started after clearing up the project i have this and i'm going to add that tornado effect using just this image let's go check it out so we have mesh i have used rings to mesh them i connected them with orange lines so i can select them with holding shift and you can additionally hold control to add the selection this is very helpful considering the recent updates in 4.2 that now you can actually select with shift even in weights view okay so basically we will be offsetting the rings after we bind them to the bones and making sure the rings are rotating in their uh, local uh, frame of reference. Great, so for that, I will um, create a structure. Very simple, I guess. Let's create a bone. Align it to the center. I need to put it here. Great. And let me add a few more bones. I will add for each orange ring. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, should be enough. rename it one and all of them should be uh, positioned here in the center of the ring here are they great now let's bind it and do our thing start binding from zero and the center one Yeah, I think I could have one more bone. Let's do that. Name it six. Why not? Adding it to the list. And finally, this and this should go and bind to this bone. Now, um, I will scale and find my perspective. Something like this. And the fun part comes now. Let's move it up and give it a nice 3D. Great. So having all this, we can rotate it already and animate it. But I want to um, animate only one bone. So I will create a constraint. Just one constraint, but selecting all the bones. They are using same constraint, so I will, so I will enable local and see if that works. It doesn't work. Most likely, I forgot to give the mix value, and it works. Nice, great, great, great. So 
we already can go and animate this. Um, let's actually do it. I'm going to animate the, the green bone, the first bone. Mm, yeah, it's nice. Now, uh, I normally love to duplicating things and reusing them a lot. So let's do it now. Let's duplicate it. And pretty much we are ready to see it. But I need some different, some variation. But first of all, let me uh, go and create another constraint. Because duplicating doesn't mean you have the constraint also duplicated. Again, I forgot to give the mix value. Yeah. So now we can uh, have a nice variation. Oops. I will uh, increase the scale uniformly yeah let me see this is what we have and the smaller preview window I'm going to convert it to additive one of them uh, reduce the opacity and maybe reduce the opacity of the other one. Yeah. And give it a different speed to rotate. Maybe half the cycle. Great. I love this. I really love this. Maybe we could have a smaller the beginning and even smaller here. We, we can even animate this scale in the animation just to have some vibrating effect. But our goal is to make this VFX and jump right away to the physics. Great. For that, I'm going to add physics to all these bones. And it will create constraints for each of them. We can see the warning. Uh, it can show for different reasons. Right now, it shows that the bones doesn't have length while you are uh, using the rotation property to be simulated. Nothing will happen, actually. Physics won't be simulated. That's why it shows warning. So we can either give the length to the bones or just uh, remove this. So the moment I set it to zero, we should see it. We should see no warning, but it says now that there is no property to be simulated. So let's give the X and the Y not also the Y value. Maybe we want to move the tornado down or up. I want to see that springing also there and I'm going to give a value here but it's going to be different for each of them I think I'm going to manually adjust them let's see what we have now um, I actually should see all of them doing that <clears throat> okay. <coughs> yeah, this is pretty much what I expected. And now I will just need to select the bone from top and give more values to inertia. Let me starting from 150. Mm.
it's not precise science so you may find a different way maybe keeping the inertia and working with the mass but I'll go with this one so right here I think I'm going to remove physics from the origin point. I don't really need that to move. I was talking about these points. We don't need physics here. Um, yeah, can work. Can work. You can do better, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we could set some some mass to all of them. I just want to do it in a quick way. I really don't want too much damping. It's great. It's really great. You can see in preview or just let's actually animate it. I like this. The idea is to show you how you can use it and not like make final product. If it ends up being final product, and being nice, why not? But right now I will jump to uh, adding physics to the leaves. So basically we have this setup here. We have one bone here, we have another bone that is rotating and bunch of bones for leaves. And you can see they are rotating in their uh, frame of reference. We can change that reference and they will still rotate there. We can change it again and they will still rotate there. So basically that's it and in the animation we just animate this rotation and this scale bone to give it a nice touch. Uh, most important thing is that these bones should have scale, inheritance disabled and optionally uh, rotation too. So Now I do have all uh, leaf bones selected and saved under uh, Number one, I'm going to recall them and create physics constraint for all of them. Next, I will select all physics constraint newly created, save them under number two, and give a nice dragging value, maybe 300 of inertia. But we don't have 300. We don't need rotation. Clearly, we need X and Y. Also, 200 is maximum. Great. Now, um, obviously, you can go ahead and manually adjust all the leaves, but I'm not doing it today. Okay, I think I need to put all inside this container, and we actually had that container. Why I created another bone here? I clearly, don't need this. Great. We have wind and we have our leaves following. Mm. I actually would like to see some kind of effect. Maybe I will think about it later. But essentially, I would like to see an effect where the leaves would taper out when they are moving so we get scaled down here at the tip the farther it moves i'm not sure i can uh, understand how to do it now but you can drop me some ideas in the comments so basically this leaf should not go only horizontally but it also should go here showing that uh, there is a dragging moment coming here and everything is magically uh, following up here. I don't know if I could explain it to you. But looking great. I'm happy with this result. That's it. A uh, simple trick. I hope you can use it or even improve it and post or share. Um, Consider supporting us on Patreon or YouTube. It's really a great help for me. I'm enjoying already making all these videos and sharing with you. 
But if you want to see more of them, I will really need some support from you. Or just you watching these videos is already super nice. You can consider joining our Discord server to get in touch with the community or just go follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Um, yeah, let's get in touch. Thank you. Bye bye.